Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we're going to be talking about any mental issues or problems on the vegan diet. Did I suddenly get like clarity from from animal products? Was I like, oh my gosh, eggs, meat, milk. Oh, they saved my life. They saved my life. Now I'm a carnivore. <laughs> no. <laughs> they did not improve anything. Not anything in my life, at least. Um, they never really did, didn't do a lot for me. Like, people who were like, oh, yeah, the vegan diet healed all my problems. No, it did not. You're delusional if you think, if you think that. Because the only thing is that you just got nutrients, you know. My diet was already good in nutrients. I did have, I did have, you know, like, I had pasta, br brown bizarre past um rice i mean um i'd have heaps of vegetables so broccoli i'd have beans sweet potato potatoes um have some pasta um tomatoes and i'd have large amounts of these it wouldn't just be a small little meal, not just a small little bowl thing. It wasn't like, it's not like I was having the size of this bowl right here. It's not like I was having that size. No, I was probably having three times this size, three or four times this size. I was eating a lot, eating a lot. Yeah, I was eating, okay? I was eating like heaps. I'd have like th two to three big meals. Being bloated as uh, not exactly the best it was. Um, so, yeah, I had, no, I had no mental issues. I had no amazing clarity, as these ex-vegans say. I never had that. No feelings. Nothing. Actually, no, I did have feelings. Feelings of guilt. That's what I had. Feelings of guilt and disgust. That is what I, I felt. I was having, oh, I was having conflicts with myself for like two weeks. Who the heck wants to deal with conf conflicting for two weeks? It was, it was horrible. It was one of the worst things that I've ever had to deal with. Unfortunately, I had to deal with it. So, anyway, my mindset, what was it like? Now, when I get into something like really, really deep, you know, my my mind becomes that belief system. So that's pretty much what I was like. You know, ex-vegan videos, my mind couldn't deal with it, you know. My mind couldn't deal with it even, even though that they may have been calm. My mind was like, no, they're wrong. This is right. Don't listen to them. They're being, they're being stupid. They're ex-vegans. They don't, they don't know what they're talking about. My mind would be like that. You know, it would judge these people without me actually judging them. I would go ahead and ask these ex-vegans, what were you eating? Because I thought that, you know, it all, it could be nutrients. You know, could be that be calories who knows who knows you know that that's that's the thing 
Like I wanted, I wanted to know. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I just wanted, just wanted to know what was the problem. Like, or a lot of them were for, for them, raw vegan diet. So I came to the conclusion: raw vegan diets are the worst things. You know, like and a lot of people come to veganism through eating disorders, so they're going to choose raw veganism. What's there really to expect? That's why I was always like, if if you've got an eating disorder or are recovering from one, do not go vegan. I still believe that. I believe they've got an eating disorder and you're recovering, do not, do not eat a vegan diet. Even... It depends what vegan diet you do, but there's so many different types. Um, and plus, you're excluding animal products, you know. And I think after when you've healed yourself, fully healed yourself, then, you know, you can become a vegan. Obviously, you know, you should do the best that you can do, obviously. Um... But I want to expect somebody with an eating disorder to go vegan. I think it would just end bad. Like, I think Henya Mania, she had an eating disorder and she's all fine on veganism. And that is fantastic. You know, it's fantastic. But not everyone's going to be the same. And the ex-vegans I see are the ones... It's like, oh, you know, I had eating problems and that eating disorder. And it's like, you know, if you're still in that mindset, we don't know if they're still in that mindset. They very well could be. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't see what, what goes on off camera, you know? And these people are better off not being vegan. When they're ready, when people... So when they're ready, when they've healed themselves, then they can become vegan. But at this point in time, they should not be vegan. That that is that's my that's my idea. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed 